technology. It's reshaping our lives. It dramatically changed the way we live, the way we learn, the way we work, and the way we communicate. Technology has tremendous potential to connect us with one another. But there are still people who remain unreached, disconnected, and deprived of digital opportunities. Tech for Ed Centers serve as hubs that enable skills training and job opportunities. We have more than 4,000 registered users and about 67% are women and majority composed of students as our beneficiaries. And why women? Because we are gender responsive, so all our programs are aligned with the gender and development program of our province. Na tutunan ko yung ibang skills na dapat sa ibang schools na dapat per years dapat i ano ma ano malang dito na mabilis na mga months, mga three months, mapan malang agad tapos para work agad. This program helped me by finding a job and of course gaining more confidence as well. I was able to gain knowledge about the BPOs. Um, on how does the environment work and how am I going to interact with um, my future customers before. As of now, as I would be a call center agent, so I see that difference because as of now, I'm earning, uh, I'm earning more than I, am, I have earned uh, before as a tricycle driver. O labing makagagahom nga amay namon sa langit. Mahinuklugon nga laon nga tagtuga sa langit, hangin, kalayo, tubig, kagduta. Tanda ining imong timawa. Gabay ining pag-ampo, magadulot sa amon sa kabuhi nga himaya. Salamat sa mga bugay na imugin paambit sa amon. Salamat sa kabuhi na ginadulot mo sa amon na himpit. Salamat sa maayong na panahon kag ilabinagid sa imukatutong sa amon. Bindisyone ang imukatawahan. Bindisyone ang ila mga palangabuhian. Bindisyone ang mga panggas sa amon mga talamnan. Bindisyone ang ilang nga paglugayawan sa iban nga kapungsuran. Gabay, makalabot sila na walay sablag sa ila pagapadulungan. Tag ila binagid, bindisyone ining isla sa negros na amon na tawahan. Inahalad namon ang ining pag-ampo para sa imo kadayawan. Noon pa man, malaki na ang naging bahagi ng mga kababaihan sa lipunang Pilipino. Kaisa sila sa marubdob na paghahangad ng kalayaan ng ating lahi. Kabilang sila sa paglinang ng ating makulay na sining at mayamang kultura. Kasapi sila sa pagtataguyod ng mga adhikain ng kapwa mamamayan at sa pagtugon sa mga pangangailangan ng lipunan. Katuwang sila sa pagtuklas sa mga larangan ng agham at medisina. Kapanalig sila sa pagpapairal ng batas, karapatan at katarungan para sa lahat. Kapahagi sila sa paglilingkod sa bayan at sa pagpapanatili ng demokrasyang Pilipino. Sa paglipas ng panahon, hindi nagmaliw ang kanilang pag-ibig sa ating inang bayan. Mga kababayan, ito ang alay 
ng mga kababaihang Pilipino para sa paya. Tumayo po tayong lahat at sabay-sabay nating awitin ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Hello there, everyone, and good afternoon. You are now watching Knowledge Sees 2D Animation and Visual Graphic Design Webinars. This is Visual Graphic Design Webinar 2, and for today's topic, let's learn and explore adjustment layers in Adobe Photoshop CC this March 31st, 2021, streaming live over YouTube and Facebook. We would like to extend a very warm welcome to all of you. Thank you for taking time off your busy schedules to join us today. We are super excited to have you here, excited about all the conversation that we are going to have today. My name is Dawn and I will be your host for this afternoon. This webinar is a pioneering project of Knowledge C Tech for Ed Center. Knowledge C also offers various scholarships for our free online training under the Negros Occidental Scholarship um, Training Program through the Office of the Governor, Governor Eugenio Jose Bonglaxon. The center has also pivoted to online training and conducted various in demand webinars, such as this one. This is our urgent and most accessible response to the ongoing global pandemic through providing relevant services and facilitating digital inclusiveness of communities. These webinars are absolutely free that's right to join all you need to do is register once after that you will be given access to the entire webinars now is the time for you to do the online attendance link to that is provided in the description box you may also scan the qr code flashed in your screens right now to participate in the open forum, you will need to post your questions through an online open forum form. Please find the link in the description box or you may flash the screen, the code which is 
flash in your screens right now. You will also be receiving a digital certificate for attending this webinar online. You only need to do is to accomplish the online evaluation at the end of this session. If you are watching through Facebook live stream, please follow our page. And if you are streaming through YouTube, hit subscribe to our YouTube channel. At this point in time, we would like to say um, good afternoon to those who are joining us right now through Facebook and YouTube. We would like to extend our um, appreciation and greetings to um, staff and students of Carlos Hilado Memorial State College in Binalbagan. Good afternoon as well to Bulwanga National High School, Hinubaan Negros Occidental. Wow, thank you for joining us today. Hello to North Negras College. Thank you for joining us. Um, we also have here from the local government unit of Cadiz City. Good afternoon. Also, we have here participants joining us from Carlos Salado Memorial State College, the Lisay campus this time. Also, we have participants from Palayan City, Nueva Ecija. Wow, that's quite far, but thank you for joining us. Um, also, special um, greetings to those um, joining us from Tigbao National High School, Division of Negros Occidental. And also, we have here from Bago City College. Um, we, all, we would like to say um, thank you to the faculty and staff of Bacolo Bago City College, especially to Sir Anthony Malabanan. And to Mom Jennifer Vanessa of Carlos Silado Memorial State College of Binalbagan for encouraging their students to join us in our webinars. And we also have here participant from Negros Occidental Recoletos, Bacolod City. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. The greatness of a person is not measured in wealth alone, but in her integrity and her ability to affect those around her positively. Knowledge is led by a leader who leads by example and constantly innovates to better serve its stakeholders like all of us. To kick off today's webinar, join me in welcoming the phenomenal vocational school administrator and Tech for Ed Center Manager of Knowledge C. We have Dr. Maria Cristina B. Arvisido for her welcome message. Good afternoon to everyone. I would like to welcome all attendees in this virtual learning session. Yesterday, you learned about the animation production process. Yes. Indeed, it was a tough discussion, and I bet most of you had a very fruitful learning experience. Again, I would like to warmly welcome all our participants from different cities and municipalities in our province, and also all our attendees from other provinces and regions, including those outside of the Philippines. I know that you are all excited to continue your learning sessions on Adobe you learn some basic tools in photo editing. This time, you will learn the adjustments of layers in Adobe Photoshop. Indeed, another interesting topic that will surely enhance your knowledge and skills. As we leverage on technology, let us continue to be more resilient during this pandemic. These webinars brought to you by Knowledge C Tech Red Center and the Office of Governor Bong Lakson are game changers. We will stay connected with you. No pandemic can stop us from connecting with you. We are here to create a more inclusive province. We need to renew our sense of hopefulness or our resilience that we can do more and be more despite this COVID-19 pandemic. We hope that you will learn a lot from this module. Again, welcome to this webinar. Let us stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Maayo hapon sa inyo tanan. There you have it. Thank you very much, Dr. Arvisido. Knowledge continues to deliver relevant and COVID-free training programs through the strong support of our provincial government. And to give us a message on behalf of the governor, let us have the provincial GAD focal point system in charge, Ms. Mari June P. Castro. Thank you and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome 
to this launching program of Knowledge C of its GAD uh, related uh, seminar online and this is uh, animation and uh, graphic design. Congratulations to Knowledge C for again uh, pioneering this this year, of course, headed by Dr. Christina Basa Orbisido and the entire faculty. To all our participants, congratulations for joining, and uh, I wish you luck, and I wish you will complete and submit the, the requirements for you to have a certificate. And on behalf of our chairperson of the Provincial Guide Focal Point System, Governor Bong Lakson, I'm so happy and uh, grateful for Knowledge C for doing this and uh, for being our GAD champion. So to all the participants, I'm glad that uh, you are coming not only from Negros but other parts of the country. And of course, since this is also um, shown by, uh, by uh, YouTube and Facebook, I know our, uh, uh, our uh, constituents or their relatives from other parts of the country can also join. And I'm so happy that we are doing this during this Women's Month. So we make change work for women. And uh, our theme is also Juana Laban sa Pandemia, Kaya. So with knowledge, si, si Juan and si Juana, both Kaya ginaton to overcome this crisis. So all of you, good afternoon and abanse, negrense. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Ma'am Castro. Without much waiting, we shall get into the main agenda of today. Our resource speaker for this afternoon is an outstanding illustrator and visual graphic design artist of Knowledge C, and also a trainer, of course, of our um, center. His approach to teaching has brought a lot of his trainees to successful careers and even inspired them to set up their own companies. His trainees call him approachable and very helpful. We are very lucky today to hear from this sought after artist. Let us give a massive round of applause to Mr. Ian Christian Antonio. Uh, hello, good afternoon. Thank you, Ms. Red, for your introduction. Yes, you're welcome, Sir, Sir Ian. Can you give us a little idea what to expect in today's webinar? Okay, so actually, uh, adjustment theorist. So. Uh, mostly used by photographers, especially love for editing. Then uh, if you want to enhance colors, lightness, exposures, uh, brightness, so this tool is uh, really help them. Wow. So even a <clears throat> trying hard photographer like me can learn from this webinar. <laughs> All right. Yes, Ms. Red. <laughs> you got well, it. <laughs> yeah, we are so excited to have that. Um, this webinar will teach us how to create photos from OK to amazing, right? So the floor is yours, Sir Ian. I thank you, Ms. Red. So good afternoon, everyone. So welcome to webinar two in uh, graphics design uh, adjustment layers in Adobe Photoshop CC. So last week, so we already discussed about the basic tools of uh, Adobe Photoshop, Photoshop CC. Then uh, we learn also the importance and how uh, to use uh, uh, to use the basic tools. Okay? Now our next topic is all about adjustment layers. So what is this adjustment layers? So just like uh, what I have said, so uh, mostly ginagamit ito ng, ano, ng mga photographer kung gusto nila enhance yung, ano, yung, yung quality ng colors, lagyan ng lightness, uh, uh, lagyan ng ano ng brightness di kaya um, yung magandang exposures so itong tool talaga yung ano yung pinakamaganda okay then if you want photo uh, manipulations or you want to enhance the quality of your uh, any designs so magagamit mo yung uh, magagamit niyo talaga yung ano yung adjustment layers okay so adjustment layers is one of the fundamental tools and in Adobe Photoshop, so it used make change to your image without affecting original image data. So kapag gumagamit ng adjustment layer, so wag matatakot baka masira yung ano, yung original file. Actually, yung original file is nandiyan pa rin. So we are in, we, we are uh, we are enhancing uh, the colors and light uh, uh, colors lightness and brightness lang. Okay? So I know is uh, all of you are excited. So without further ado, so let's begin. Okay? So, let me share my screen, okay? Wait. Oops. Okay, thank you. 
Okay, by the way, uh, our objectives for today uh, for today's webinar. So Okay, so we will learn the basic tools of adjustment layers. So in, uh, I guess for this limited time, so hindi lahat ng adjustment layers is uh, mauhubos natin. So yung itatakol ko is yung most na ginagamit lang talaga. Okay, then we will we will learn also how to use and why uh, is it critical in photo editing. Okay, so. Right. Okay, so. Ito na. So, na-open ko na yung, ano, yung Adobe Photoshop. So, last week is next explain ko naman yung, ano, yung interface ng, ano, ng Adobe Photoshop. So, again, we have two options here. We have create new and then open. So, sabi natin, so, kapag create new, so it means gagawa tayo ng bagong document or bagong file or bagong design. Okay, but when we say open, so, we have something, uh, image, design na something modified na lang natin. Okay, or something manipulate na lang natin. So this time, so I will click open. Okay. Okay. So I have here um uh, some of my materials. Okay. So uh okay. So okay. So we will try this one. I will open. Okay. So actually, this image is came from uh the uh DSLR camera. So kung titingnan natin, so video dal yung ano yung quality ng ng ano ng ng image na ito. So yung kulay parang hindi siya do matingkad. Then yung exposure so parang hindi masyadong maganda, okay? So this time gagawit uh, gagamit tayo ng ano ng adjustment layers, okay? Uh, when applying adjustment layers, actually we have three different ways. Okay? So first is we have here from in the bar, punta lang ng ano ng image, okay? Then we have adjustment layers. Okay, so um, yung adjustment layers natin, so sila ito, so we have brightness and contrast, levels, curves, exposure, vibrance, uh, hue and saturations, color balance, so black and white photo filter, okay? So medyo madami siya, okay? So try natin, okay? So adjustment layers, then, okay? So uh, let's start for the, uh, yung ano, yung uh, something uncommon yung ano yung brightness and contrast pero i guess magagamit niya ito okay so we have brightness and contrast okay so if we like uh, our image uh, makes brighter and more sharply so si brightness and contrast yung ano yung makaka-help sa atin okay so try natin okay so lagyan ko ng ano ng medium brightness so okay so if we try to see okay so medyo meron na siyang ano siya brightness then we have also contrast. Okay? So say contrast, yung kulay, medyo, uh, uh, sabi natin ano, medyo, uh, medyo uh, pagagandahin niya. Okay? So let's see. Okay? Kung titingnan natin, medyo matangkad na yung, ano, yung kulay ng, ano, ng background natin or something yung quality natin. Okay? So kapag sobra, so ito yung nangyayari. Then kung kapag sobra naman yung brightness, okay? so overexposed naman. Okay? So dapat katamtaman lang. Okay? So we have also like that one. We have darkness, okay? So yung image mo is uh, sabihin natin medyo matingkad yung pag pagkakuha. So you can adjust naman yung ano, yung darkness, okay? Then we have also okay. Okay, dullness of contrast, okay? Kung titingnan natin, okay? So yung ano niya, yung kulay niya is parang naging last, okay? So I guess okay, so that one. Then, okay? So wag lang ano, masyadong ano. Okay, right exposure lang. Okay. So, lagyan ko lang ng katamtaman. Okay? Then, anytime, so we can preview that one. Okay? Ito yung original. Then, ito naman yung edited. Okay? Then, we have option here, used legacy. So, ang used legacy is, ito yung old version ng, ano, ng Photoshop. Okay? So, kung i-check yan, yung, mang, yung mangyayari, kapag adjust ko, okay? So, medyo sobra. Okay? Exage yung, ano, niya. Yung... Uh, binibigay niyang contrast, okay? So, I guess, uncheck ko lang yan. Gusto ko lang yung katamtaman, okay? So, lagyan natin ng ano, magandang lights at saka yung magandang contrast, okay? Then, press ko lang okay kung okay na ako, okay? Okay, so, yan yung ano, yung unang way sa pag-add ng ano, ng adjustment layers. Pero, yung problema, kapag dito, ta dito tayo dadaan, so, 
uh, kapag mag-adjust tayo ulit, so wala na, mahirapan na tayo. So yung isang option is gagamit tayo ulit ng adjustment layers, okay? So ito yung parang medyo hindi advisable na ano, na no way kapag gumamit tayo ng adjustment. Okay? So tingnan natin yung ano, yung ika, yung ikalawang way. Okay? So undo ko by pressing control Z. Okay? So bumalik siya sa original. Okay? So somehow naka-lock siya. So unlock ko lang by pressing the lock key. Okay? So yung gagawin ko para safe yung layer ko para anytime is ma-adjust ko yung ano, yung adjustment layers. So gagawin ko siyang smart object. Okay? So right click then we have to convert into smart object okay then after na naging smart object siya so i will go here so adjustment then okay we have brightness and contrast okay so adjust ko ulit like one then add lang ako ng konting contrast okay oops okay like that one then press ko okay okay so if you try to see we have smart we have smart filters so anytime like gusto ko baguhin okay so double click lang ko diyan okay so ito na yung ano yung options okay so okay so safe yung ano natin yung image then anytime so we can adjust or we can edit the brightness and contrast okay so again ito yung pinaka mabisang way o di kaya may isang way pa yung palagi kong ginagamit okay so Delete natin. Okay. Undo ko lang. Okay. So, okay. Pwede tayong dumahan dito. Okay. So, makikita ito by checking into window. Okay. Window. Then, hanapin lang yung adjustment layers. Okay. So, kung hindi pa naka-check, then press check lang. At lalabas yung adjustment layers. Okay. So, we have brightness and contrast. Okay. So, click on yan. Okay. I can adjust that one. Okay. Yung maganda dito is, okay, so dito is gumawa siya ng uh, layer mask. Okay, so it means pwede kong paglaruan yung exposure. Okay, so mamaya papakita ko sa inyo yun. Okay. Then we can reset. Okay, so we have reset here. Gusto natin balikin to default. Okay, then we have auto. Okay, kung medyo nahirapan ka talagang ano, humanap ng tamang lights at saka tamang contrast. Okay, so just click auto. Then si Photoshop na lang yung bahala. Okay? Pero kung parang ayaw mo yung yung output niya gawa ni Photoshop, you can adjust naman yan. Okay? Okay. So, press ko lang. Ah, wala na. Okay. Then next. Okay. So, let's try next. So, we have levels. Okay? So, click ko si levels. Hide ko muna ito. Okay? Add ko si levels. Okay? So, gumawa siya ng panibagong layer with layer mask. Okay, so si levels, so it has the power to adjust brightness, contrast, and tonal range. Okay, in editing an image. So, tingnan natin. Okay. So, ito yung ano, yung histogram ni levels. Okay, so compare natin kay, ano, kay brightness, uh, brightness and contrast. So, tingnan natin. Okay, so sa, my, sa, sa, sa right, okay, sa my uh, left side, okay, kapag uh, medyo nakakita kayo ng, ano, ng black or so, it means, okay, ito yung shadow. Okay, so... Add ako ng shadow. Okay, so, pero kulang ako ng highlights. So, it means mag a ako ng lights. Okay, so, nandito sa right side, yung highlights. Okay. So, add lang ako ng highlights. Okay. So, para mabigyan ng, ano, ng exposure. Okay, oops. Then, yung maganda sa, ano, sa levels because we have mid-tones. Okay. So, it means pwede ko paglaruan yung mid-tones. Okay, oh, pwede siyang ganyan mo lagyan ng lights. O di kaya, papunta ka ng, ano, ng left side, so, gagawa siya ng okay, medyo dark na mid-tones. Okay? The next, we have RGB. So, we have three channels here. Okay? So, kung click ko niyan, we have red, green, and blue. Okay? So, gusto ko enhance yung kulay ng green. Okay? So, I will select green. Okay? Then, this time, okay. So, I will adjust the green. Okay? So, dito kayo sa Highlights. Okay? Then, papunta ng kaliwa. Okay? So, titingnan natin. So, yung green. Yan. So, nag a siya ng green. Okay? So, wag lang sobra. Okay? Yung, katatam yung ano lang, katamtama. Okay? So, dito naman kay shadow. Okay? So, gagawa siya ng okay, something magenta. Okay? So, why magenta? Okay? 
So kung titingnan natin, so yung alternate ng RGB is we have semi key. Okay? So it means yung alternate yung alternate ni red, so we have cyan. Oh, yung kay green is we have magenta. Then for blue we have yellow. Okay? So balik ko lang wag sobrahan. Okay? So let's check. Okay? So wala tayong yellow. Adjust ko yung yellow. So it means pupunta kay blue. Okay? Then adjust ko yung ay yellow. Yan yung yellow. Okay? So, adjust ko lang yung yellow. Okay? Parang sobra yung yellow. Okay? Adjust ko lang. Okay? That one. Then we have also red. Okay? So, uh, add ako ng magenta. Okay? So, dito ako sa kay shadow. Okay? So, add ako ng konting magenta. Okay? So, so far okay na ako dyan. Okay? Then, if you want to add some overall na ano, na uh, door. So, Oops, sorry. Balik ako kay RGB. Okay. Okay. So, we have the here. We have slides here. Sa ilalim. So, si lights. Okay. So, si highlights. Uh, papuntain ko lang doon para kay dark. Okay. So, hindi ako ganyan. Okay. So, gusto mo naman mag-add ng lights. Okay. From here. Okay. From black na cursor. Then, papuntain nyo lang kay okay. kay highlights. Okay. So, sobra. Okay. So, okay na ako nyan. Okay, so add na ko ng konti. Okay. That one, oops. Then we have that one. Okay. So, yan yung original na image. Then, yan yung we have levels na. Okay. So, medyo nag-enhance na yung quality ng image natin. Okay. So, mas maganda si levels compare kay brightness. Okay. Then, next. Okay. Okay. So, let's try. Okay. Corpse naman. Okay. So, I will open new image. I will go here, file, open. Okay, so this time, I will add. So, okay. Password. Okay, yan yan. Okay, so replace ko lang. Okay, file, open. Hanap ako ng maganda. Okay. So, I guess this plan. Okay. So, this time, so we will use yung ikatatlo naman, yung curves. Okay. So, check natin kung ano yung difference between sa dalawa doon. So, we have brightness and contrast, then levels. Then, ngayon, we have curves. Okay? So, dito sa image nito, is medyo maganda na yung, ano, yung quality. So, enhance na lang natin. Okay? So, sa curves, yung tandaan lang. So, we have input. Ito yung input sa ilalim. It means ito yung nag-represent ng data doon sa image natin. So, sa my right side, ito yung highlights. Okay? Okay? Then... Ah, uh, into the left side, ito naman yung okay, darkness natin. Okay, or shadows. Okay. So, yung gagawin natin, okay, like for example is uh, gusto ko bigyan ng lights yung yung image na ito, okay? Yung maganda kasi kaya no, okay, curves is we have S curves, okay? So, like for example, okay. So, click ko dito, okay? Okay, sa sa graph natin, okay? So, kapag yung Okay. Yung graph natin is papuntang itaas. Okay. So, it means nag add siya ng light. Okay. So, kapag yung graph naman natin, so, papunta ng ibaba, so it means nag add siya ng, okay, ng darkness. Okay. So, it means dito sa input na light, so, yung ginagawa natin is nag add tayo ng uh, extra light. Then, again, so, we can add also darkness okay so bigyan natin ng like that one so mag lang ako ng uh, some lights okay huwag lang sobra then next is yung gusto ko is yung okay yung darkness so medyo uh, mag a ako ng ano konting darkness okay so yung gagawin ko dito sa my right side okay okay so sabi ko kanina kapag <clears throat> yung graph natin is papunta ng ilalim so, mag add siya ng darkness. Okay? Yan. Pero kung papuntang itaas, yung darkness natin is mag add siya ng lights. Okay? So, ayaw ko niya. Okay? So, mag add ako ng darkness. Okay? That one. Okay? So, itong way na ito is tinatawag natin okay, S-Corp. So, kanina, so, di natin uh, magagawa doon kay brightness and contrast at saka kay levels. So, ang gusto nyo is something, we have some areas talaga 
na bigyan ng ano ng magandang exposure. So you can use the courts, okay? Then next, you can also okay, reset ko lang. Click na reset, okay? Okay, so you can also uh change the value of your uh, uh curves so manually, okay? So yung gagawin lang is check lang dito, okay? Then, okay? Like for example, kukunin ko yung data ng midtones natin. So, we have 1 to 8. Okay. Then, yung output, okay? like for example, is yung output natin is mataas compared doon kay input. Okay. Sabihin natin, uh, 150. Okay. Magbibigay yan ng tightness. Okay. Pero kapag yung output is uh, mababa siya compared doon sa input value natin. So, okay. Oops. Gawin kong 1 can. Okay. So, yung nangyayari, oops, sorry. Okay, nag a siya ng darkness. Okay, so mahilig kayo doon sa, ano, sa manual. So, you can use manual naman. Pero yung pinakamadali talaga is the, uh, by using the graph na lang. Okay, so reset lang. Okay. Then, next, okay. So, we have also RGB. Okay. So, like for example, we have red. Okay, so gusto ko change yung value ng red. Okay. So, kung, okay, mapuntang itaas, okay, nag a siya ng red. Okay, so, kaya ko niyan, okay. So, it's something like that. Okay. Then, kapag papuntang ilalim naman, so, alternate ng red, so we have sayan. Okay. So, o siya ng sayan. Okay. So, magada ko ng red. Okay. Then, we have also green. Okay. So, gusto ko enhance yung green. Okay. Kung gusto mo mag-add ng something magenta, ah, pwede naman yan. Okay. So, just hold lang yung ano, yung yung path dito. Then, papunta mo lang ng ilalim. Okay. Then, you have blue. Okay. So, pwede tayong mag-add ng blue. Okay. Pwede kaya yellow. Okay. So, like that. Okay. So, brasya. Okay. Then, okay. Then, adjustment. Oh, sorry. Double click lang ako dito. Okay. So, oh. Ibigyan natin na. Like that one. Okay. 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 So, pang sobra. Okay. So, ito yung before. Ito yung edited na. Okay. Then, <clears throat> okay. Next is okay. we have exposure. Okay. So, delete ko lang dito. Hide ko lang. Okay. Then, add any exposure. Okay. Ah, sige, open na lang ako. Okay. Okay. Okay, so add tayo ng, ano, ng exposure. Okay. So for exposure, so we have exposure or something highlights. Okay. So kung gusto nyo lagyan ng highlights, okay. so yung gagawin lang is adjust lang yung exposure. Okay. Then we have offset. Okay. Ito naman yung nagre-represent doon sa shadow natin. Okay. So, you can also adjust that one. Okay. So, kapag papuntang left, okay, so nagbibigay niya ng uh, ng shadow. Kung papuntang right, so nagbibigay niya ng something lights. Okay. So, huwag lang sobra. Okay. Okay. So, I guess that one. Then, you have gamma corrections. So, adjust ko lang yung skin tone. Okay, so, kung mahili kayo sa, ano, sa portrait, so, you can use naman yung, ano, yung exposure. Okay? Then, again, you can reset that one if you like. Yeah, parang something, uh, ayaw yung, ano, ayaw yung quality ng pag-edit nyo. Okay? Then, we have also preset. Okay? So, like that one, we have minus one. Okay? We have 2.0. Then, we have plus one. Okay? So, plus one is medyo uh, overexposure. Then you have plus 2, 0. Okay? So, pero doon ako sa default. Okay? Yan yung exposure. Okay? Then next, 
east we have ay ito maganda ito we have vibrance okay so close kayo ito okay open ako ng bagong okay so punta ako kay vibrance ito si vibrance okay so we have that one so sa vibrance we have vibrance and saturations okay so we can adjust the saturations okay So, yung gagawin ni saturations ay so parang uh, magbibigay siya ng uh, <clears throat> ay ng like uh, I mean like yung ano yung yellow so parang lagyan uh, uh, bibigyan niya ng ano ng ng more yellow then kapag like uh, bababa ako so magiging last yung kulay niya okay So we have that one yung problema kasi dito kasi kung sobra naman kay saturation so yung pati yung ano niya yung skin tone niya okay so okay nag-apply din ng ano ng ng parang sobrang ano sobrang kulay okay so yung ginagawa ko so instead na saturation kung background lang yung purpose ko okay so ginagamitan ko ng vibrance okay so kay vibrance so medyo same din sila ni saturations pero yung maganda yung quality ng skin tone is na maintain niya okay so we have that one then add lang ako ng konting saturations okay okay so like that one okay so ito yung <clears throat> okay original then ito yung with vibrance and saturations okay Okay, then next we have ay U and saturations. Okay, so tingnan natin yung ano, yung U and saturations. Okay, so close, open ako ng bagong image. Ah, oh, close ko muna niyan. Okay, file open. Okay. Then we have U and saturations. Oops. Okay, try natin ito. Okay, so dal siya. Okay, so we have U. Okay. So, yung U, so sabi natin, so ito yung uh, nag, uh, nag-represent kay kulay. Okay. Then, we have also saturations. Okay. So, sabi natin kanina, yung saturations is uh, is how much color or amount of color na gagamitin natin. Then, we have lightness. Okay. So, it means lightness kung anong brightness of color yung gagamitin natin. Okay? So, tingnan natin. So, like for example, we have color picker here. So, double click yun yan. Okay? So, yung U, ito yung U. Okay? So, nagre-represent nagre sa, sa color sa color natin. Okay? Like for example, we have green. Okay? We have blue. Okay? We have purple. We have red. Okay? So, ini kulay na, na <coughs> ini kulay na choose mo is we, we are considering it it a U. Okay? Then, try natin yung saturation. So, click ko lang dito. Okay. So, ito yung saturations. Okay. So, okay. So, how much color is what? Okay. So, it means, okay. So, pwede natin bigyan ng exaged na color na like uh, brown. Or gusto mo something last yung ano niya, yung saturation niya. Okay. Until magiging siyang, okay. Something gray. Okay. Then, ito naman yung uh, lightness natin. Okay? So, kapag, okay, yung slides is uh, pupunta ng ano, ng itaas. Okay? So, nagiging white siya. Okay? So, nagiging matingkad siya. Pero kapag yung cursor natin doon sa slides, papunta ng ibaba, okay? so, we have, nagiging black siya. Okay? So, same din dito sa, sa nangyayari kapag gumagamit tayo ng UN saturations. Okay, so let's check. Okay, so add ako ng ano, ng, okay, ng saturations. Okay. Then, we, we have you. Okay. So, if I, <clears throat> kung gusto kong palitan yung ano, yung kulay ng ano, ng image ko. So, like that one. So, we can use you. Okay. So, nagiging pula siya. 
Okay? So, nagiging blue siya. Okay? Ayaw ko niyan. Okay? So, nagiging green siya. O, nagiging ah, red siya. So, depende sa inyo. Okay? So, balik lang ito. Zero. Okay? Then, yung lightness. Okay? So, ito yung nangyari kapag gumagamit tayo ng lightness. Okay? So, nagiging white siya at nagiging black siya. Okay? So, yung advisable kapag gumagamit ng lightness. Okay? Huwag sa master. Okay? So, let's try to edit this one using uh, yun saturation. Okay? So, like for example, so, enhance ko yung ano, yung yellow. So, dito sa drop down ng master. So, lahat ng kulay is makikita natin based doon sa ano, sa image. Okay? So, I will select first the yellow. Okay? Then, I will add saturation of yellow. Okay? Like that one. Okay? Then, I will add some lightness okay? of yellow. Then, okay, I will change the U of yellow into something orange. Okay, that one. Then, next is, gusto ko enhance yung quality naman ng, ano, ng green. Okay, so select ko yung green. Okay, then add ako ng okay, saturations. Okay. It means gusto ko yung matingkad na ano na, na kulay na green, okay? Then uh, I can use also lightness. Okay. Okay. For green, okay. That one, nice. Okay. So what else? So we can change the color of green, okay? Like this to be something yellow green, okay? Or something, okay? Blue, so pwede naman yan. Okay. So we have you naman. Okay. This time, so I will use green lang. Okay. Oops. Okay. Then, next. Okay. So, ano pa dito? Okay. Try ko yung say yan. Oops. Okay. So, adjust ko yung say yan. Okay. So, kung nakikita natin, nandito yung say yan na kulay. Okay. Then, okay. So, oops. Sorry. Let's just using lightness. Okay. So, depende sa, ano, sa gusto niya. Okay? Then, we have blue. Adjust ko yung saturation ng blue. Okay? So, ito yung blue. Okay? From dullness. Okay? So, magiging brightness siya. Okay? Oops. Okay? Okay. Medyo babaan ko lang yung brightness. Okay? Then, we have magenta. Kung gusto niya, adjust yung magenta. Okay, then we go to one. Okay, then adjust lang yung lightness. Okay. Okay. So, we have that one. So, this is the original. Okay. Then, using yun saturations. Okay. So, nagiging... Okay. Mas matingkad yung kulay ng image natin. Okay. Then, we can use also a uh, single tar targeted na U and saturations. Okay. Yung gagawin na natin is, like, for example, this one. Okay. Mag-open ako ng panibagong image. Okay. So, adjust. Gamit ako ng U and saturations. Okay. Then, we have something I drop here. Okay. Parang hand tool yung ano niya, yung itsura. Yung gagawin ko is, select ko niyan. Then like for example, yung red. Okay, papalitan ko ng kulay. Okay, by clicking that one. So, kung titingnan natin, dito sa options ni yun saturations. Okay, automatically yung, yung ano natin, for master. So, nagiging red siya. Okay. Okay, then adjust ko yung kulay. Oops, sorry. Ay, dito na lang. Okay. So, click ko niyan. Then, adjust ko yung kulay. Okay. So, ayaw ko ng red. Gusto ko ng something purple. Okay. So, pwede yan using yung yun saturation. Okay. Gusto nyo is magiging orange. Okay. So, pwede yan using the yun saturations. Again, so we have, okay, I drop here. Okay. Then, let's try another example for yun saturations. 
Okay. So, close ko lang yan. Then, file. Open. Okay. So, I will use this image. Okay. So, this one, yung objectives ko is yung some lights here. So, medyo uh, gawin kong parang natural na lang. Okay. By using adjustment layers, then yun saturations. Okay. Then, I will click that one. Okay. So, automatically yung uh, color ko for masters. So, nagiging yellow siya. Okay. So, yung gagawin ko is adjust ko muna yung U. Okay. Para makikita ko yung ano, yung area. Okay. Then, also the saturations. So, gawin ko siyang 100. Okay. Then, sa iba ba, so we have, okay, slides here. Okay. So, yung purpose nito, kapag adjust ko siya. Okay. So, yung area is, okay, kung saan is na, na-select ni, ano, ni you. Okay. So, makikita ko. Okay. So, that one, okay. That one, adjust ko lang. Okay. So, gusto ko dito lang na area. Okay. Ayoko dito. Okay. Adjust ko lang. Dito, adjust ko lang. Okay. Oops. Okay, so that one. So, balik ko lang into zero, yung U. Okay, then the same time, yung saturation. Balik ko into zero. Okay? So, hanap ako ng panibagong kulay by using U. Okay? So, kung titingnan natin, so, yung kinukulayan niya is yung naselect lang na area using the slide sa ibaba ng yun saturation. Okay? So, kaya ko niyan. Okay, so gusto ko yung something na total. Okay, then... Let's try desaturate. So, babaan ko lang yung saturation. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. And at the same time, yung lightness. So, okay. Video siya adjust. Okay. That one. Okay. Then, uh, using layer mask. Okay. So, sabi natin doon sa previous natin na, ano, na webinar. So, yung purpose ng layer mask is same kaya research tool. Okay? So, gusto kong erase yung, ano, yung effect ng adjustment layers ko. Uh, so, gusto ko na area. So, I can use the layer mask. Okay? Yung, ano, yung kulay. So, we have two colors lang na ginagamit dito. We're using brush tool. So, we have black and white. Okay? So, kung black, it means yung gagawin ni ni layer mask is erase niya yung area. Okay? So, kung totally, okay, balik kaya nyo ito original. Okay? So, ayaw ko nyo. Okay? So, gamit ako ng white. Nag-swap ako. Then, balik ko lang. Okay? So, paint ko lang until bumalik siya ito. Eh, datad ko na. Okay? So, Change lang itong black. Okay. Okay. Tingnan natin. Ito yung, ano, yung original. Then using yun saturation. Then at the same time yung slides. Doon sa ibaba. Okay. Ito yan yung, okay. Yung edited. Okay. So kung titingnan natin. So yung sobrang yellow. Is parang naging uh, natural na lang. Okay, so malaking advantage kapag uh, marunong kayong gumamit ng adjustment layers. Okay, so same din kay ano, kay Corpse. Actually, meron din si Corpse niyan. So, close to. Okay, file, open. So, what's that one? Okay, then balik tayo kay Corpse. Okay, then we have uh, uh, eyedropper here. Okay, so select ko yung hand tool. Okay, then observe. At the same time, okay, so I'll get it. I'm sorry. Change ko muna ito. Okay. So, kung titingnan natin, ito sa image na ito, yung ano niya is parang sobra yung red. Okay. So, yung gagawin ko is last ko lang yung ano, yung red. Okay. So, okay, from RGB, yung ginawa ko is select ko yung red. Okay. Babaan ko lang yung yung skin tone niya na sobrang red. Then, by using, okay, hand tool, okay. Gusto ko ditong na-area, okay. 
Ay, then, oops. Ay, so, babaan ko lang siya. Like that one. Okay. Then, parang medyo na sobrang ng ano, meron siyang green. Okay. And then, yung green. Okay. Okay. Then, medyo babaan ko lang siya. Okay. Then, we have blue. Okay. So, gusto mo mag-add ng yellow. Dito din yan. Okay. So, for me, so, Oops. Paano ko yan? Then, balik ako kaya RGB. Okay. I can add some lights. Then, same time, darkness. Okay. Pwede naman dito. Oops, sorry. Okay. Set ko lang. Okay, sorry. Okay. Gusto nyo, pwede naman yung hand tool. Okay. The example. Okay. With this area. Okay. Lagyan nyo yung darkness. Okay. That one. Then, for this area, lagyan nyo yung lightness. Okay. Yung gagawin lang is, yung hold nyo lang yung ano, yung left click. Then, drag nyo na papuntang itaas. Okay. This one. Okay. So, yan lang muna. Okay. <laughs> Then, ito yung original. Okay. Ito yung edited. Okay. So, kung titingnan natin, medyo nawala na yung red niya. Okay? You can use that one also using the curves. So, aside doon sa ano, sa UN saturations. Okay? Then, we have next. Okay. Itong magagamit nyo din. So, we have color balance. Okay? So, close to. So, file open. Then, we have color balance. Okay? So, hanap tayo na. Okay, so, try na lang natin ito. Okay, then we have color balance. Okay. Oops, sorry. Okay, double click. Okay, so, okay, color balance. Okay, so, yung, ano, yung maganda compare doon kay UN saturations. Kasi we have shadows, midtones, at the same time we have highlights. Okay, so, same din. So, we have RGB, so we have red, green, and blue. Then, yung alternate niya, so we have CMY. So we have cyan, magenta, and yellow. Okay, so like for example, so si, uh, the, like dito, sa image nito, so gusto ko lagyan ng red. Okay. So, um, cursor, okay, so I can use the red. Hindi kaya, okay, so pwede naman lagyan ko ng cyan. Okay, so depende sa gusto nyo, okay. Okay, so, video lagyan ko ng konting red. Okay, then we have uh, magenta and green. Okay, kung yung cursor papunta ng right side. Okay, so, we can add some green. Okay, ito yung green. Pero kung yung cursor papunta ng left side, so we have magenta. Okay. Okay. That one. Then you can add yellow. Okay, so same din. So, kung yung cursor is papunta ng left side, so we can add yellow. Okay. Pero kung cursor is papunta ng right side, so we can add blue. Okay. Okay, so I will add some yellow. Okay. Take note lang kapag gumagamit ng, ano, ng color balance, dapat nakacheck yung preserve luminosity. Okay, so kung yung, uh, yung nangyayari kapag naka-uncheck ito, okay. So, nag a siya ng something lights. Okay? So, kung gusto nyo naka-preserve naka yung lights, so again, just check lang yung preserve luminosity. Okay? Para walang masyadong, para yung lights is nami-maintain niya. Okay? So, okay? Oops, parang sobra. Okay, so, like that one. Okay. Ito yung original, then, ito yung, uh, ito yung edited. Okay, again, so, like shadow. Okay. So, I can change the shadow. Okay. So, kanina is naka-midtones yun. Okay. Then, highlights. Okay. 
So I can uh, add some highlights like red, my purple, so pang soprano, okay. yellow, okay. okay. Ito yung maganda kasi we have naka-specify talaga. So we have shadow, mid-tones, at saka kay highlights. So kanina kay curves hindi natin makikita ito, yung tatlo. Then kay uh, yun saturation, is, hindi naman natin makikita yung tatlo nito. Kung gusto nyo talaga naka-specify yung, ano, yung kulay, good for shadow, mid-tones, at saka kay highlights. So it means gagamit tayo ng color balance. Okay? And then next is we have, okay, yung black and white is, okay, ito yung ano, something yung nagamit natin ito. Okay, so automatically if we click that one, so nagiging black and white siya. Okay? So, we can uh, adjust pa rin yung ano, yung red, yellow, pero kapag change mo ito yung yung blend mode niya from normal into color, okay? so makikita natin yung ano, yung Okay, ah, sorry, from luminosity. Okay, so makita natin yung yung advantage ng black and white. Yung mga options na dito. Okay? So like that one. Okay. Yellow. Okay, so we can add yellow. Okay. We add green. Cyan. Okay, parang kagaya ng Lightroom. Okay. So we can add blue. Okay. Then we can add magenta. Okay. So tandaan lang is Okay, change lang yung ano, yung blend mode ng black and white into luminosity. Pero kung talagang gusto niyo yung ano, yung black and white, so change lang ito normal. Okay. So hindi lang natin makikita yung ano, yung effect ng mga option dito, yung mga kulay dito. Okay? The next. Okay. So we have photo filter. Okay? So try natin gamitin natin lahat ng ano ng mga adjustment layers. So close ko ito. We have file, then we have open. Okay. Okay, so first gagamit ako ng photo filter. Okay. Ito yung photo filter. So we have presets here. So depende kung anong motive niyo or kung anong tema na gusto niyo. So we have warming filter, we have uh, uh, calling filter, ito yung calling filter, okay? so yung kulay nagiging blue, kung sa warming is nagiging orange, then we have also nakaspecify into red, orange, magenta, so depende sa, sa gusto nyong present, okay? or sa gusto nyong filter. So for now, I will use warming filter, okay? then we have density, yung amount ng kulay na gusto natin, okay? so adjust ko lang. Okay. So, I want that one. Parang sunset. Okay. okay. So, I will make it 80%. Okay. Then, next. Okay. So, aside sa photo filter, so mag a ako ng panibagong adjustment layers. So, pwede din yan. Okay. So, mag a ako ng levels. Okay. Adjust ko lang yung shadow niya para something okay na siya okay just ko lang yung mid tones niya okay like that one okay then yung highlights okay para dun sa sun okay so lagyan ko lang ng konting highlights okay so try natin dito yung slides okay oops add na ko ng konting darkness okay so sa ilalim ng ano ng levels. So, we have uh, lights at saka darkness. So, from lights, papunta lang ako ng darkness. Okay? So, tingnan natin. Okay? So, ito yung original. nag ko ako ng photo filter. Then, nag ko ng levels. Okay? Then, now, add pa rin ako. So, try ko naman yung chords. Okay? So, adjust ko yung red. Okay? So, mag ko ako ng ng okay? ng some red. Okay, parang sunset talaga. Okay, like that one. Then, next, okay, maglalagay ako ng panibagong image dito. Okay. So, I will, so, I will choose place embedded. Okay. I will use the same image. Okay. Okay. 
Philip. Okay. That one. Kaso yung problema, so malayo yung kulay niya doon sa image natin. Okay? But using adjustment layers, so try natin na parang kapag titingnan, so parang hindi siya mukhang i-detect. Okay? So, okay. So, yung nangyayari, so yung talong image ko is nandito sa pinakama, sa, sa pinakaitaas. So, kung ang, okay, kung uh, adjust ko niyan, papunta dito. So, mag-apply siya. Okay. So, okay. So, okay. So, nangyayari sa adjustment layers. Okay. So, for now is naka-global tayo. Okay. So, lahat niyan ng images na gusto natin ay okay, dito. So, automatically apply niya yan doon sa mga layers. Kung gusto niyo naka-specific yung ano, yung yung pag-apply ng ano, ng adjustment layers doon sa layers. Doon sa, ano, sa layers. Yung gagawin natin, click lang natin yung clipping mask. Okay? So, try natin. Okay. So, mag ko ng ano, ng, okay, ng corpse. Okay. Ito yung clipping mask. Okay. So, kung hindi naka-check, anong nangyayari? Okay. Apply niyan sa buong layers ko. Okay. Hanggang sa ilalim. Pati yung background. Okay. Pero kung naka-check yan, okay. So, we have arrow nga nagsasabing na-apply lang dito sa specific layer. Okay. So, click ko niyan. Okay. mag a ko ng lightness. Okay. Ng dark. Okay. So, that one. Okay. So, kung titingnan natin, yung background natin is same pa rin. Okay. So, it means yung adjustment layers natin. So, only apply lang for those specific layer lang. Okay. So, click lang yung clipping mask. Okay. Yan yung purpose ng clipping mask. Okay. That one. Oops. Then, mag-add ako ng another adjustment layers. Add naman ako ng levels. Okay. Click ko yung clipping mask para yung background ko is same pa rin. Okay. Add ako ng shadow. Oops. Okay, yung mid-tone, suggest ko lang. Okay, so, dapat nandito yung lights natin. Dapat dito is last yung exposure niya. Okay. Okay, so, adjust ko lang yung curves. Okay, para... One. Okay. Ay, so, dapat kapag gumagamit kayo ng ano, adjustment layers, so, same din. So, dapat you have to be patient lang. Okay. So, hanapin, yung, uh, hanapin natin yung, ano, yung tamang exposure. Okay. The next, try natin yung bagong adjustment layers. Okay. So, we have uh, color lockup. Okay. So, we have presets na dito. Okay. So, gagamit tayo ng Okay, late sunset. Then, dito sa adjustment layers, okay, so, we can adjust the opacity. Okay, so, kung, like, for example, this one, so, medyo sobra yung kaset niya. So, list ko lang yung opacity. Okay. Like that one. Okay, so add ako ng another adjustment layers. Okay, yung curves. Then dito, click ko lang yung clipping mask. Okay. So sa color up is, <clears throat> hindi ko na click yung clipping mask kasi gusto ko yung ano, apply doon sa buong layers ko. Pati yung background. Okay. But dito sa panibagong curves ko, so gusto ko enhance yung uh, pagka-red doon sa skin tone ni Philip. So click ko yung clipping mask. Okay. Okay. Tila. Like that one. Okay. Then next. Add ako ng another forbs. Okay. Oops. Ito one. Ah. So I'm not just that one. 
Ah. Then anytime is pwede naman yung ano, yung babaan yung ano. So, ito yung pinaka the best kapag dito tayo dumadaan kasi anytime is ah uh, pwede naman natin ano change yung value ng adjustment natin. Oops, sorry. Okay. Okay. That one, ay, yung levels, ay, so, pwede niya yung adjust. Ay. Oops. Ay, so, dapat, ano lang talaga, patience lang talaga. Okay. So, population rates. Okay. 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 Then, you can use brush. Okay. Example, gusto nyo, medyo mat- maganda talaga. Okay. Okay, for example, so, mag-create ako ng bagong layer. Then, you can use brush. Okay. Using eye drop by holding alt key. Okay. So, select ko yung kulay nito. Automatically, is nagiging orange dito sa preset ko. Okay. So, yung layer ko is nakaklipping mask yan. Okay. So, like for example, is Okay. Right click lang at least clipping mask. Okay. So, for example, is uh, nalito siya. So, yung gagawin lang, kapag gusto nyo yung nakaklipping mask yung layer nyo, is right click lang. Then, create clipping mask. Okay. And dito, click lang ito. Okay. Dito, click lang ito for clipping mask. Okay. Dito, click lang ito. Okay. Then, hold out. Oops, sorry. Okay. So, lagyan ko. Oops. Lagyan ko lang that one. Okay. That one. Okay. Then yung blend mode. Okay. So, change ko lang ito. Overlay. Then opacity. Okay. So, change ko lang. That one. Uh, something may reflection yung ano. Then, kung medyo sobra, so pwede naman gumamit ng eraser. parang meron siyang reflection ng sunlight okay then next okay. so another okay from here change ko lang ito soft light okay okay then pwede mo babaan yung Okay, yung quality. Ah, yung opacity. Then dito, okay. Yung ba no opacity. Okay, so we have Okay, so on titingnan. So although we have limited time, so may using adjustment layers. So parang ah uh, hindi halata ang edited siya. Okay, so hide ko siya. Ito yung original na quality ng image then using photo filter na adjustment layer so nagiging orange siya then by using levels okay so we can add some shadows okay then highlights dito sa itaas okay then by using curves so uh, gumamit tayo ng ano ng only red lang okay para doon parang para ma enhance lang yung kulay ng ano ng orange para kung titingnan is parang sunset talaga Then, nag-add tayo ng image ni Philip. Okay. Then, we use also curves. Okay. Para medyo bumagay lang yung, ano, yung, <clears throat> yung lightness, uh, uh, yung brightness, at saka yung exposure doon sa background. Then, same man doon sa levels. Okay. Then, gumamit lang tayo ng curves. Okay. Then, sa curves na ito is same din. So, only red lang. 
para ma- para medyo kung titingnan natin is parang uh, yung kulay niya is bumagay lang doon sa background. Pwede kumamit tayo ng adjustment layer na color look up. Okay? Na yung preset is light sunset. So kung titingnan natin is parang uh, nagiging ano na siya. Nagiging uh, sunset na siya. Then we use also corps para may enhance lang yung shadow. Okay. Then dito, so nag-add lang tayo ng ano, ng dalawang layer. Okay. Para doon sa reflection ng ano, ng okay, ng sun. Okay. So yung final output natin is like that. Okay. So okay. so kung titingnan natin is medyo okay okay na yung ano, yung design niya. Okay? So, I guess uh, that's all for adjustment layers. Okay? Ms. Red? Yes, sir, Ian. That's um, a very productive discussion about adjustment layers. Um, actually, as we are uh, uh, following you in this discussion, um, we are. We I have realized that um, yeah, this is quite easy to do if uh, we have the appropriate tool to use in um, using adjustment uh, to our to, to enhance the quality and the image, right? And at this point in time, we are going to entertain questions posted by our audience using the open forum link that we have provided. And for the first question, um, how do you organize layers? Okay, so I guess for uh, organizing layers, okay, mm -hmm. so kung medyo madami na siya. So, yeah. we can, uh, pwede ko man, no, ma-share screen yung ano ko, Ms. Red. All right, sure, sir. So you can walk us through again, how right. do we organize layers? Ay, para may uh, ipakita ko sa kanila yung ano. Mm Yes, um, the long.
All right. Yes, um, we uh, sincerely apologize for the brief um, interruption with our live broadcast. Um, we just experienced um, power interruption, so we do really apologize for that. It only just means that we are doing all of this um, live. And um, thank you for um, being with us again up to this point. And we shall resume with our webinar. Let us have back again, Sir Ian, in order to continue with where we have um, ended. So let us try to continue with our Hi. open session. <laughs> there you have it, Sir Ian. We yeah. were all caught in surprise <laughs> because of that brief um, power. No, well, no. <laughs> but um, yeah, we are uh, going live again, Sir Ian. Okay, yeah. so uh, continue. Okay, okay, so uh we'll continue. So regarding mm -hmm. doon sa tanong na ano, na paano organize yung ano, yung layers. Actually, yung ginagawa ko is by renaming it for your convenience para hindi kayo ano, ma mataranta or maw mawawala. Then by grouping it. We can group naman yung layers eh. So yeah. nung nung last is na ano ko naman ay pakita ko naman sa inyo paano mag-group ng layers. Okay? So mm -hmm. para hindi kayo ano uh, something um uh, uh, mataranta kapag ano kapag naghanap kayo ng ano ng layers na uh, hinahanap niyo All right Sir Ian yeah So shall we go to our question number 2 All right and for the question number 2 how do you select the exact color to match the image okay. So actually sa like like for example doon sa ano sa uh, like for example doon sa sa row na na ano na pinakita ko kanina mm -hmm. medyo dull siya. So actually yeah. we have next naman na ano na webinar like uh, paano gumamit naman ng ano ng color grading at saka mm -hmm. ng mag mag mag, mag enhance ng color. So I guess doon ko na lang guro, ano ipapakita. Mm -hmm. So okay. importante lang ano ng hindi lang tamang ano hindi lang medyo overexposed yung mm -hmm. uh, masakit sa mata then yung mm -hmm. yung light is parang sobra siya mm -hmm. then same din na ano na parang uh, sobra din doon sa sa kulay at saka sa ano sa sa, sa, sa shadow so yes. i guess yung ano yung sagot na lang mas may explain ko uh, kung uh, kung ipapakita ko by next na lang na ano no, no, mm -hmm. color grading. Yes, that's good. That's giving our audience an idea that they should really follow the next webinar session, right? <laughs> so, um, thank you for that answer, Sir Ian. Let's move on to our third question. Why is it necessary to balance the color of the image? Okay, so I guess para kung titingnan siya, syempre hindi masakit sa mata. Then parang mm -hmm. placing siya, then naka-attraction ng ano, ng ng attention doon sa yeah. ano, sa sa viewer kasi kapag hindi mm -hmm. balanced so uh, wala mang magre-react yung ano yung viewer okay? correct yes there should be like so, kind of a... tama lang mm -hmm. yes sir Ian dapat may color harmony right uh, like like for example doon sa ano mm -hmm. sa pinakita ko kaninang image yung ano niya yung skin tone niya is parang mm -hmm. sobra doon sa red so yeah. parang masama naman tingnan Mm -hmm. na yung ano. So we have to correct the, ano, the colors. Yes, Sir Ian, I have also noticed that a lot of these um, enhanced pictures doesn't seem uh, or doesn't look very natural. So, but uh, if we can like uh, edit a photo that even if it is enhanced, still it can look natural, right? Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, thank you for that answer. Let's move on to question number four. Can you edit two or more layers at the same time? Wow. Oh, uh, at the same time. Yung, mm -hmm. uh, what do you mean na, ano, na at the same time? Si na, simultaneously. Okay, so. In one layer, you do two um, filters. Images? Yes. Uh, in one layer, uh, we can do more than uh, two filters. Mm -hmm. Yan, Mr. Ed. Oh, yes. Pwede naman. Okay. So, kanina, so, doon sa pinaka-last ko na, ano, pinakita ko naman doon sa, sa, mm -hmm. uh, sa, like, for example, doon sa background. Mm -hmm. So, gumamit ako ng, ano, ng multiple na, ano, na adjustment layers. So, like, mm -hmm. gumamit ako ng photo filter, gumamit ako ng levels. Kung mm -hmm. doon sa, ano, sa photo, uh, photo filters, medyo wala siyang, ano, wala siyang, ah, uh, 
wala siyang shadow na ano na options. Mm-hmm. So gumamit ako ng levels. Kung hindi kaya ng levels, so uh, gumamit naman ako ng ano ng ibang adjustment layers like curves mm-hmm. o di kaya yon saturations. Mm-hmm. But what is the advantage of doing single layer compared to the multiple layers? Uh, multiple layers. Uh, like for example, Ms. Red. Uh, yeah, what like, do you mean? Mul- like having uh, the same, like having different layers. What is the advantage of that? Uh, kasi ano eh, nang, uh, at, uh, kagaya doon sa, ano, sa last ko na, ano, na examples. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I guess nang, uh, uh, un- uh, inuna ko muna doon na, ano, yung, yung sa background. So okay. yung yung ginawa ko is yung binigyan ko siya ng ano ng ng filter na parang sunset. Mm-hmm. Then yung next naman doon kay Philip doon sa subject. Okay? So mm-hmm. yung ginamit ko naman na ano ng na mga adjustment doon mm-hmm. is para ano para doon lang naka-specify doon kay ano kay Philip. Mm-hmm. So depende sa ano kasi sa 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 design eh. So mm-hmm. then ano then sa may ano sa may editing so actually ang daming way naman eh yung yep. pinaka-importante lang kung, da- kung saan ka comfortable. Mm-hmm. Yan lang I yung see. So, that will bring out the creativity of the illustrator or the artist, right? Yes, that's okay. right. Yeah, thank you for that answer. <laughs> And we move on to our fifth um, question here from our audience. What are the advantages of using adjustment layers? Okay, so, I guess doon sa, ano, sa, sa kanina kong example pa rin. Mm-hmm. So, like, for example, doon sa, ano, sa, sa kay Philip at saka sa background, hindi magmatch mm-hmm. So, yan yung, ano, yung pinaka-advantage ng, ano, ng adjustment layers. Mm-hmm. So, makukuha natin yung target natin na, ano, na exposure na kulay mm-hmm. by using adjustment layers. Okay? Yeah. So, although uh, sa Lightroom meron din, pero mas advantage kapag ano kapag gumagamit talaga ng ano ng Photoshop. Kasi ano eh mm-hmm. like for example uh, meron tayong background then meron tayong subject. So mm-hmm. hindi naman kaya ni ano niya ni Adobe Lightroom. Mm-hmm. Yung multiple images. Okay. So yes. only exactly. one image lang yung pwedeng nating ma-edit doon sa mm-hmm. sa uh, Lightroom. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just to um, yeah, in oh. order the end goal, right, sir, is to create a single image. Hindi yung marami ka jang element, but they have different shades, different lighting. Yeah. Kung gusto mo talaga enhance yung kulay, yan mm. yan yung ano talaga, yan yung pinaka pinaka major tools na gagamitin mo talaga, yeah. yung adjustment layers. Yes. Correct, sir. Yeah, and for the information of everyone, by the way, we also have uh, participants joining us all the way from Kidapawan, South Cotabato. That's outside the province of Negros Occidental. And <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for joining us in this webinar. Okay, we go to um, question number six. Again, um, before that, before I read the question, Sir Ian, again, I would like to encourage our audience joining us live now to post their questions to our open forum link, or they can participate through our comment section. Okay. Question number six. Do adjusting the layers affect the quality of the photo when printed? Yes, of course, Ms. Red. Kung ano yung nakikita nyo doon sa canvas nyo? So yung ano then pag exploit niya is kung ano yung nakita niyo na ano na final output. So mm-hmm. same din doon sa ano. So same din kapag uh, kapag ginamitan niyo ng ano ng printer. So depende na lang sa printer kung maganda yung quality ng printer mm-hmm. na ginagamit. Yes sir, but does it degrade the the resolution of the photo? Uh doon sa printer is red. The... Yeah, after the printing, uh uh-huh. Ah, depende naman sa ano sa file format. Kasi mm-hmm. kapag like for example, like yung ginamit mo something PNG or JPEG, so mm-hmm. medyo yes. medyo merong uh, some uh, some some quality na parang nawawala siya. Mm-hmm. Pero kung yung ginamit mo talaga yung uh, tip na ano na quality, so I guess kuha-kuha niya. Pero medyo mabigat naman siya. Yeah. So what uh, format do you suggest? Okay, so kung may inherit mo lang yung ano nyo, yung gusto nyo, so you can use mm-hmm. JPEG naman. So mm-hmm. common format yan. Pero kung gusto nyo talaga ng high quality, so yes. I guess to uh, hanap kayo talaga ng, ano, ng magandang <laughs> printer at saka yung, yung file format nyo. Uh, yan yung sinabi ko, yung tip. Mas maganda. Mm-hmm. So kung Facebook lang naman, sir, or Instagram, JPEG um, will do? JPEG, no. Okay, <laughs> 
<laughs> right? And that gives um, our audience an idea how to save their uh, files. And uh, last question, um, number seven, when can we enroll for VGD at Knowledge C? Do you offer online class for visual graphic design, sir? Very interesting question. Okay, so I guess for now, so we are waiting for the uh, guidelines from mm -hmm. IATF and at the same time from the province, then yes. also from TAST. Mm -hmm. Then uh, uh, for now is uh, uh, we can offer uh, ano yung yung webinar. Uh, kasi kapag ano kapag online yung ano yung class sa VGT. So especially doon para doon sa ano sa equipment uh, dapat yung uh, dapat afford talaga ng ano ng ng mga students mm -hmm. yung laptops or equipment na gagamitin based doon sa standard ng test. Eh. Yeah. Yan medyo mahirap kapag ano kapag online yung ano. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly. Hindi naman tayo makapag-edit doon sa cellphone eh. <clears throat> Yeah. But uh, even though it's quite challenging to do the uh, online or because of the challenges posed by the pandemic, Knowledge C continues to offer online uh, webinars such as this one, webinars um, related to the topics of visual graphic design. So um, our viewers, we, Sir Ian, would you like to encourage our viewers to join our future webinars? Okay, so I guess kung gusto nyo talaga maging um, maraming matutunan dito sa ano sa Adobe Photoshop. Mm -hmm. So I have four pa na mm -hmm. ano na na coming na webinar. So wow. sana doon yung ano yung color grading. Mm -hmm. So I guess marami talaga yung matutunan dito. So mm -hmm. then uh, again so isa ito sa pinaka demand na ano na qualification ngayon. Especially uh, especially where where using technology and uh, mm -hmm. marketing using uh, social media. So, hindi talaga mawawala yung ano, yung design. So, it means mas advantage kapag marunong kayong gumamit ng, ano, ng Adobe Photoshop or ng mga graphics applications. Mm -hmm. That's right, sir. And um, to give the, to give our audience the idea of um, what are the equipment or requirements, uh, equipment requirements that they can prepare so that they can also do the like visual graphic design learning at their own home or if they want we will be offering the online class um in the future so what are the the, the requirements that they have to prepare okay so yung ginagamit ko na ano na application ngayon is adobe photoshop cc 2019 mm -hmm. so it means medyo mataas ito mm -hmm. so yung ano lang yung processor so it means medyo ano man kaya naman ano core i3 Pero patahasin na natin yung ano yung RAM, yung memory. So minimum mm -hmm. natin, I guess, we have 8 gig. But the recommended is parang 16 gig yata yun. 8 gig. Mm, okay. I see. Then, so it, then. Yeah. it means that they really need a computer or a laptop or can they just use their cell phones or smartphones? Okay. Uh, I truly advise na kung gusto mo gumaling sa paggamit ng applications, <laughs> so you should have to practice. Okay? So, mm -hmm. kung meron naman ano, kung meron naman equipment na pwede yeah. naman gamitin. So, I guess, nang ano naman, kayang-kaya naman. Mm -hmm. Pero kung di talaga kaya ng budget, so pwede naman yes. gumamit ng mga older version ng, ano, ng Adobe Photoshop, like mm -hmm. uh, Photoshop uh, CS. CS3 mm -hmm. or CS5 or CS6. Then, yung, uh, yung system requirements ng computer is hindi naman masyado mataas. Mm -hmm. So, I guess kahit, kahit ano na, ng core to do or something dual core, kayang-kaya mm -hmm. ng, ng, ano, ng computer. Yung mga older version ng, ano, ng yeah. Photoshop. So, it's mm -hmm. good for practice lang. At least, uh, nagpa-practice ano, nagpa nyo lang yung, ano, yung Adobe Photoshop. Yes, sir. At least um, there's something to start with, right? They, they need the software, they need an equipment such as a computer or a laptop to work with. And um, to follow up um, with that topic, what about the internet requirements? Yes, okay, supposedly so, we will be doing the online training. Okay, so kung talagang naka, ano, kayo, naka subscribe kayo doon kay, ano, kay Adobe, so, I guess kahit uh, 1 Mbps is okay naman for subscription and validation. Mm -hmm. So, hindi naman, uh, kahit walang internet, okay naman gumagamit ng, ano, eh, ng Adobe Photoshop. Eh. Yeah. Okay. Pero kung ano, kung like, like example, nakadownload kayo ng mga free trial, so, mm -hmm. no need naman yung, ano, yung internet connections. Yung mm -hmm. mga graphic applications ng Adobe is naka-offline naman yan. Yeah. <clears throat> 
But of course, um, this training will be done online, so they should be at least connected to an internet <laughs> platform, right? That's what's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, any last message to our audience, Sir Ian, before we end the open forum session? Uh, so again, so thank you for your time. So I guess uh, you'll learn a lot doon sa ano sa uh, tinuro ko. Actually, madami pa yung ano yung adjustment layers. Mm -hmm. Kasi uh, with this limited time, hindi hindi lahat is matatakod ko. So uh, if you want to be become good in designing, so I truly advise na mag-practice talaga. Kay uh, ilang ulit mo pa yung panoorin yung mga tutorials, yung mga webinars na nandito kung hindi naman ano hindi niya naman ina-apply. So, I guess, mawala doon sa, uh, ma, I mean, makakalimutan niyo pa rin yung, yung mga, uh, mga itinuturo namin. Mm -hmm. Kung meron man, kung meron man lang kayong ano, ng mga equipment or yeah. laptops, you can practice it. Uh, kung hindi kaya, so it means gumamit ng ano, ng mga older versions ng Adobe Photoshop. Mm -hmm. Important is, makapractice kayo. Yes. <clears throat> Sir Ian, that's a very um, informative discussion about adjustment layers in Adobe Photoshop CC. We would like to appreciate you for giving us expert tips and advices on how to become a better artist and better illustrator. Um, we would like to give Sir Ian a virtual round of applause. Thank, Thank you so you, much, Red. sir. And in order to get your digital certificate, please don't forget to accomplish the evaluation form through the link provided in the description box. Do this right after the end of this webinar. You may also scan the QR code flashed in your screen right now. Reminders, your email address should be typed in correctly. Be careful with the spelling of your email address so it won't bounce back. The evaluation site will be opened until 6 o'clock in the evening today. So please do not forget that. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This concludes our webinar, Adjustment Layers in Photoshop CC. Don't miss out our webinar next month on April 12th. The topic would be pre-production in animation. See you using the same platform. You should be able to receive a link through your email. So that's it. Have a meaningful and blessed Holy Week celebration. Stay safe. Um, take care. Knowledge inspire. Knowledge cares and advance negrense.